Okay, what's going on everyone? So today I have a particular message and it's just for women, just for women. And I'm praying that you all can receive it. You know, as a, as a believer of Jesus Christ and as a believer in the infallible word of God, I'm praying that you all can receive it. And I know how some women can be so critical of a man when he speaks about women that this is not that type of party and I'm just praying that you can receive everything that I'm trying to say as a believer in Christ okay so in the beginning God created Adam and Eve and Eve wandered off we don't know where Adam was we don't know why he wasn't attending to his wife but somehow Eve wandered off and she came across the tree of knowledge of good and evil and she already had been instructed not to touch it by God. But somehow the enemy, the serpent, the devil, Satan, had got into her head and presented to her a half truth that if she touch it, if she eat it, then she would be just like God. She already been instructed not to. And in that moment, that tree the, the very tree that she was instructed not to touch, the very tree that God had told her not to touch, not to eat from, became everything to her. At that moment, Adam, Adam didn't mean anything. God didn't mean anything. Only that tree in which she was instructed not to touch became everything to her because the enemy already got into her head and the enemy already had persuaded her. And very similar to Eve, enemy is persuading a lot of you women to touch things that God never intended you to touch to be in a relationship that God never intended you to be in to be with men that God never intended you to be with to do the things that God never intended you to do to have the thoughts that God never intended you to have The world is in opposition to God. And what I'm saying is the world, this world has been populated with many people that don't know who God is. And what I am trying to say, women, is that you cannot listen to people and you cannot go with a worldly system that does not honor God and does not know God. And if you do, and, and this is what I am seeing, and I'm, I'm seeing this a lot, is that the world is telling you how to dress. The world is telling you what you need to do to get this man, to get that man. But this is the worldly system. That is the way that the world is designed to mislead you. Only God, only God knows what man is going to be able to give you life? And what I am saying, life is um, this man, only God knows the right man that is going to be able to speak life into you, that is going to speak words of encouragement to you, that is going to be able to lead you more to him because he is the giver of life. God never intended women to be with a man that only just wants to use them for their body. That is what the world, that's the worldly system. The world wants you to think, the world wants you to think that a man only sees your appearance, only sees your curves, only sees your body, and that he wants you for that. That's what the world is telling you. But if you go to the word of God, if you go to the word of God, a real man, when God created Adam, God created him and they was in close fellowship with each other. And women, what I am trying to say is that when, when Eve was created for Adam, God created the woman for the man who is in close fellowship with him and, and able for you to get more of who God is and for, for you to be drawn closer to God, you have to be in a relationship with someone who is closer to God. And when you are when you are in this world and when you are listening to what the world wants of you 
you're not going to get what God wants from you because the world is in contrast. The worldly system is in contrast to God. The worldly system is in, is in opposition to God. You know, the world is going to tell you, you know, you have to be beautiful. You have to be fine. You have to be sexy. But according to God, charm is deceptive. Beauty is vain. But a woman who fears God shall be praised. Meaning that the word of God is in contrast to what the world says. You can, you can have all these things. You can be sexy. You can have men looking at you, staring at you, gazing upon you. You can have all of that. But in the end, it's going to be vain. It's not going to mean anything. But a woman who fears the Lord shall be praised. In, a, in the book of Proverbs, it says that fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And what I am trying to say is that if you first, if you first seek God, if you seek first God, women, God is going to give you the blueprint on life. He is going to tell you what man is better compatible for you. He is going to tell you how to go out into the world and be an influence and be, the, be an impact on the world. Because I know that a lot of women, y'all don't, it's almost like y'all have those insecurities. If you see, if you think that you're fine and you, thought, you think you got it going on and you see another woman that you know is beautiful and all the men are looking and all the men are like staring at her, you're probably going to be feeling some insecurities, probably going to, you know, kind of make you feel a little bit inferior to this next woman. And the, God don't want you to feel like that, but the world wants you to feel like that. The world wants you to feel insecure. The, won't, the world wants you to feel inferior, but God don't want you to feel like that whatsoever. And if you had a real true man, he won't want you to feel like that whatsoever either. But a lot of you women, Y'all are trying to keep up with what the world wants. So y'all y'all have to wear the short skirts. Y'all have to wear the tight clothes because y'all are trying to get attention from men in the world. But a godly man ain't seeking none of that. God ain't even seeking none of that. And what I am trying to say is that, women, if you seek first God, if you seek first God in his infinite wisdom, he is going to lead you in so many ways, not to just the, uh, the right man, but he is going to tell you how to go out into the world and make an impact on this world to be a light to this world. So, so many other women who are lost and so many other women who are out here in bad relationship and getting used and abused and manipulated by the enemy and by multiple men, you can be a light. You can be an impact. You can be a force to reckon with when it comes to the women in this world. You you can be that 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 energy. You can be that light that can pull them out of the darkness that they're in. God has a purpose for women. Y'all are powerful. What y'all do on this earth is powerful. The way that you present yourself is powerful. But God wants y'all to be under his umbrella. God wants y'all to be under his headship. What I am trying to say, women, is seek first God. Seek first God in his infinite wisdom. He has something for you. He has something incredible for you. And it's not just the man. He's for you. God is for you. And when God is for you, the world, the whole world could be against you. But when you have God for you, nothing else matters. Don't be like Eve who just wants what the world wants. Don't be like her. Don't be like the many men, women that came after Eve who only wants what the world wants of her. Don't be like that. Go back to God, women. That's my message. And I pray that it bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Peace.